morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us from different corners of the world for this Computex opening keynote by Intel. This year, Computex continues to build technology ecosystems with our global partners. After going through a year of pandemic, we know how important technology is in our daily lives, trying to stay connected for work, study, and entertainment. Computex activities will include an online exhibition called Computex Virtual, Computex CEO Keynote, Computex Forum, and Innovex Forum, and online matchmaking conferences. Please join us for the latest global industry insights brought to you by extraordinary tech leaders. For decades, Computex has played a significant role in the global technology revolution and Intel has been a long-term partner of Computex, staying side by side together. We went through the ups and downs of the tech industry. Intel has grown to be one of the most important tech companies today. I am delighted to introduce our next speaker, someone many of those in the audience knows well. Michelle Johnston Hohaus is Executive Vice President at Intel Corporation. She is responsible for global sales and revenue at Intel and leads the company's efforts to foster innovative sales and marketing approaches that broaden Intel's business opportunities and enhance customer relationships worldwide. Customer and partner success are her passions and Intel's critical business partners across the Taiwan ecosystem continue to be a priority focus for Michelle and the SMG organization. Innovation is about to be unleashed for the technology industry and the world. As the gradual rise to our post-pandemic future gains momentum, Intel's purpose of creating technology that improves and enriches lives all around the world has never been more relevant. From the data center and cloud to connectivity, artificial intelligence, and the intelligent age, Intel innovations help expand human potential by expanding technology's potential. As Intel continues to engineer the future, a new era is ahead for this innovative technology leader. We are pleased to have Intel and Michelle join us at Computex and look forward to her insights. Please welcome Michelle. everyone and welcome to Computex 2021. It really does feel like a new day in so many ways, not just here at Intel and across the technology industry, but for the whole world. Clearly, we need to remain watchful and disciplined in the months ahead as we continue to navigate our way through the pandemic. At Intel, we have a very specific, very public purpose that informs everything we do to create world-changing technology that improves the life of every human on the planet. We know this is an ambitious mission. 
We also know it can only be accomplished with the help of partners around the globe, including those of you who are part of the critical Taiwan-based ecosystem, which is why I'm so glad to have the opportunity to share some time with you today. Intel established its first office in Taiwan in 1985, and we've been a major participant in Computex since 1990. And while I'd much rather be together in a room with you today, I'm also looking forward to taking advantage of this virtual format to seamlessly share the stage with a number of partners and colleagues from all over the world. The impact from the last 15 months is likely to be felt for at least a decade, and it may be years before we grasp the full extent of that impact. But when it comes to technology, there are some seismic shifts that are already well underway. It's clear, for instance, that the various compute environments we rely on, whether at work or in our personal lives, are becoming more and more interdependent. As the pandemic accelerated the blurring of lines between our work lives and our home lives, it became obvious that what we really need from technology are solutions that work for our whole lives. Improving people's lives in a meaningful way requires innovation that leads to better and more seamless experiences from data centers and the cloud, through the network to the edge, and across the ever-expanding array of devices we've come to depend on in our daily lives. Just a few short weeks after COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic by the World Health Organization, Intel announced the formation of the Pandemic Response Technology Initiative. Our goal was to focus on how Intel technologies could enhance healthcare, education, and the economic recovery of businesses at multiple levels. So we set out to provide immediate relief where it was needed most, develop innovative solutions to support the new normal, and invest in technology that would limit the impact of future crises. Let's take a look at one great example from right here in Taiwan. Thanks, Michelle. Asus and Intel has long-standing partnership of the past 30 years for technology innovations. We share the same vision of green technologies to support and enrich the lives of people on the planet. This COVID-19 has proven now more than ever the essential role technology plays in changing and helping the lives of people in many different ways. During the pandemic, Asus, Intel, and the VC cooperated with Taipei City Herping Hospital to implement an intelligent mobile medical project which provides doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals with access to safe, efficient, and powerful diagnostic, monitoring, and support tools in isolated rooms, both in existing healthcare setting and remotely. This is just one example of the kind of healthcare devices and services ASUS provides with a particular focus on electronics and mobile health services. These solutions include intelligent medical devices, mobile applications, clients and cloud platforms, and AI-enhanced healthcare technologies. ASUS also develops solutions for enhancing management of electronics medical records for both inpatient and outpatient care as well as innovations for telecare. We look forward to more cooperating with Intel and the industry ecosystem to bring in technologies to, to improve people's lives. Thank you. Thank you to all our friends at ASUS for their work on this amazing project. Since we announced the PRTI more than a year ago, We've engaged in 230 projects spread across 170 organizations. We've partnered with organizations around the world to apply our solutions and expertise to geographically unique problems, as well as global challenges. And we certainly didn't want to stop. That's why in April this year, we aligned with Intel's RISE 2030 goals and transitioned the PRTI process and the technical expertise of our employee volunteers to the Intel RISE Technology Initiative. The IRTI will continue to review and fund projects related to healthcare, education, and the economy with new dedicated work streams for social equity and human rights, accessibility, 
and climate action. And it will create a broader purpose-driven platform for action with a new $20 million commitment from Intel. The pandemic has been a great reminder that the concept of improving lives can mean many different things, from improving personal health care to facilitating positive social interaction for those in isolation, to simply making our lives a little more convenient in the face of a hectic day. It also reminded us of the critical role innovation plays in our efforts to improve lives. We can't meet the challenges of tomorrow with yesterday's solutions. That's why I'm so excited about the renewed energy and enthusiasm for innovation at Intel these days. You can sense it in every business unit, every fab, every region around the world. And best of all, you can sense it in every action of our new CEO, Pat Gelsinger. Thanks, Michelle. What a great feeling to be back at Intel and to address our many friends in the Taiwan ecosystem. I have such fond memories of my many trips to Taipei over the years, including for the Intel Developer Forums, which I launched as Intel CTO more than 20 years ago. Innovation unleashed. I love this phrase. It captures both the spirit and strategy of this new day for Intel and for our industry. As this audience knows so very well, Intel is unmatched in its depth and breadth of software, silicon and platforms, packaging and process with at scale manufacturing. As a partner, we are uniquely suited to innovate around what I call the four key superpowers driving digital transformations, cloud, connectivity fueled by 5G, artificial intelligence, and the intelligent edge. The digitization of everything has been markedly accelerated by COVID, spurring rapid innovation and new models of working, learning, and how we interact. This transformation has created a cycle of explosive growth in semiconductors, but it has also placed tremendous strain on supply chains around the world. We have been working diligently with our partners, including so many of you, to address constraints and increase output to meet demand. And we are acting to help ensure capacity to meet the world's needs for this new area. For example, we've doubled our internal wafer capacity in the past four years. But while the industry has taken steps to address near-term constraints, it could still take a couple of years for the ecosystem to address shortages of foundry capacity, substrates, and components. If the past year has taught us anything, it's that the entire supply chain needs to rise to the occasion to ensure no individual bottlenecks limit growth for the industry. Whether it's Wi-Fi modules, substrates, panels, or any other critical component, lack of supply constrains the growth we need to refuel the world economy. That's why we are driving a collaborative approach to help up and down the supply chain, not just with our suppliers, but with their suppliers and with our customers. For example, we recently began working with suppliers to complete production of substrates for our chips at our Vietnam site. We anticipate it will increase the availability of millions of units in 2021. This shows how the integrated device manufacturer or IDM model gives us flexibility to address the dynamic market. In March, I unveiled our IDM 2.0 strategy. It's a winning formula that utilizes our internal factory network and strategic use of external foundries to reliably deliver our leadership products, and it provides the industry with another source of advanced foundry capacity through our new Intel Foundry services. We've already announced more than $20 billion of new investment in our foundry capability. This includes large-scale capacity expansion in Arizona and support for advanced semiconductor manufacturing technologies in New Mexico. We plan to expand to other locations in the U.S. and Europe, ensuring a sustainable and secure semiconductor supply chain for the world. I'll close today with a huge thank you. The Taiwan ecosystem has already been playing a critical role in addressing today's challenges. We are working closely with our ODM, OEM, Foundry, Assembly, and Test Partners in Taiwan 
to make sure we are collectively investing in the right areas to eliminate future supply chain bottlenecks. I am both humbled by the challenges and excited by the limitless opportunities made possible by the magic of technology that we create together. It's an honor to have the opportunity to speak to all of you attending Computex virtually today, and I am looking forward to connecting with you, hopefully in person, very, very soon. Thank you so very much. As Pat said, we have unleashed innovation at Intel, but it's not innovation just for the sake of advancing technical specifications. It's innovation designed to accelerate the meaningful build out of those four superpowers, the cloud, connectivity through 5G, AI, and the intelligent edge. Innovating in these key areas is essential to our goal of improving and enriching lives because they have the potential to impact the ways we live, work, and play at a global scale. Clearly, the one thing these superpowers have in common is a foundation built on data and the ability to move, store, and analyze that data in new, more efficient ways. Intel's Data Platforms Group is dedicated to enabling the kind of innovations required to advance these data-based superpowers. So I asked Lisa Spellman to give us a quick update. Thank you, Michelle. It's great to be here at Computex with partners who are innovating with us to create solutions that address these superpowers, both here in Taiwan and worldwide. As these superpowers accelerate, it is critical that we deliver a data center platform that is flexible that brings artificial intelligence everywhere and services all workloads from the edge to the cloud. The Xeon platform is the most pervasive data center platform on the market and has an unmatched lineup of processors, accelerators, advanced memory, software, and solutions capabilities enabled globally to holistically solve customers' most challenging problems. This year, we advanced the capabilities of the Xeon platform with our latest third-gen Xeon scalable processors, which deliver a 50% performance improvement, expanded memory bandwidth, faster I.O. with more lanes of PCI Express, and advanced security capabilities with Intel Software Guard extensions. Cloud providers, OEMs, and ODMs worldwide have built hundreds of unique systems and services to take advantage of these capabilities one of which is Quanta Cloud Technology, who recently announced a cloud-native, virtualized RAN solution called OmniRAN, enabled with our latest third-gen Xeon scalable processors to help operators accelerate their 5G network deployments while improving capital and operational efficiencies. Harnessing the power of Xeon enables QCT's OmniRAN to deliver improved performance, better centralized management, as well as greater scale and deployment flexibility. This is one of many examples we see of network workloads consolidating onto the Xeon platform due to its unmatched TCO value. I'm also excited about our next generation Xeon platform, which will launch next year, as it builds upon these capabilities and delivers advancements in performance, workload acceleration, security, and memory and this platform is currently being sampled to customers worldwide. I'm grateful to all of our partners here in Taiwan and around the globe who work with us to build world-changing solutions on the Xeon platform that enrich the lives of individuals around the world. Have a great Computex, and let's go create something wonderful. Thanks, Lisa. When it comes to unleashing Intel innovation, one of our newest and most exciting platforms is the Olympic Games. While the games may not look like they typically do this year because of the pandemic, our partnership with the Olympic Games has quickly developed into a powerful innovation engine that accelerates the creation of new technologies at scale. And, of course, the goal of the games to build a better world through sports and community aligns perfectly with our purpose. Let's hear from Rick Echevarria, the head of the Intel Olympic Program Office, to get a glimpse of what Intel has underway in support of the Tokyo Summer Olympic Games. Thanks, Michelle. As a worldwide partner, it was our intent that the Olympic Games would become a real-life innovation lab for us. And that's exactly what's happening. 
Intel plays a key role in accelerating the adoption of new technologies by working with partners across the Olympic movement to integrate technology into many facets of the games. From the sporting events themselves, to games operations, to athlete performance, to improvement to the host city's infrastructure, and to the way Olympic fans around the world experience the games. Supporting the technology demands of this massive, ever-evolving global enterprise pushes us to accelerate advancements in a wide range of technologies and solutions. One great example of this is our 3D athlete tracking technology, or 3DAT, enhancing both the fan experience and athlete performance. And with the innovative application of 3D cameras, the compute power of our Xeon processors, the performance of our Optane memory, and the acceleration capabilities of our network technologies, we can harness the power of data to perform fine-grained skeletal analysis without the need for bulky sensors. We're also deeply involved in the International Olympic Committee's data collection project. The benefits of cutting-edge processor performance will provide real-time analytics to the games by better enabling high-quality data-driven decisions and by improving both the fan experience and the complex operational challenges of the Olympic Games themselves. We are already applying some of our key learnings to other large-scale sporting events, opening new markets for our partners and for Intel. During the Games, we'll be teaming with more than a dozen world-class partners to deliver a portfolio of Intel-based technologies to more than 80% of the Olympic venues all around the city. Many of the innovations unleashed for the Olympic Games will ultimately make their way into products and services that define Intel's larger purpose, to enrich the lives of every person on Earth. Thanks, Rick. The Olympic Games are just one of the many platforms through which we foster innovation. Another example from right here in Taiwan is our new 5G Innovation Center. Our goal is to assist 5G ecosystem manufacturers and partners in the R&D, testing, and adjusting of 5G-related equipment and solutions. We've already made a significant investment in the 5G Innovation Center and are working with a number of our Taiwan partners to enable testing of various critical equipment in the 5G end-to-end -end environment based on Intel FlexRAN software hardware architecture. We will continue to expand our testing and development capabilities as 5G matures and new applications emerge from industries like retail, education, and healthcare. We're very excited about the potential of the 5G Innovation Center, but we've been working with our Taiwan partners for years to bring 5G to life. Our partnership with Quanta Cloud Technology goes back more than a decade and includes our work together on QCT's launch of the world's first cloud native network in 2018. Our partnership has led to a wide variety of innovative implementations built on Intel FlexRAN and Rate Assist software, Intel vRAN dedicated accelerator, and of course, third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. The partnership continues with QCT's collaboration with Chunghua Telecom to support open architecture running on Intel. Another of our deep 5G partnerships is with Foxconn. It's a priority of Foxconn to support all of their customers by offering comprehensive 5G private network technologies. And Foxconn has participated in several different types of joint programs with Intel. For instance, Foxconn contributed technology to support Taiwan system integrator FHNet in developing smart robots used in a hospital in Taipei. These innovative robots perform tasks like disinfecting patient wards and delivering meals and pharmaceuticals. The result is a reduction in the risk of virus transmission for healthcare workers. Working hand in hand with the Taiwan ecosystem for the last several years to develop 5G solutions based on Intel technologies, we've built an industry within an industry, including WNC, Pegatron, Inventec, Wistron, 
we win, and HTC. Together, we've built an unmatched 5G ecosystem. Thank you for your support. We look forward to continuing this important work. Now let's turn our attention to the ways we're unleashing innovation to advance the capabilities of one of the world's most fundamental technologies, the PC. One of the unexpected results of last year has been to shine a light on the central role the personal computer plays in the lives of billions of people every day. When our homes suddenly become our offices, our schoolrooms, our lecture halls, and our main social meeting places all rolled into one, the importance of our relationship with RPC came into a whole new focus. The result was a phenomenal year for the PC market. Here with a look at some exciting innovations we're driving in the PC space is Steve Long. Thanks, Michelle. As we all experienced over the last year, technology is increasingly central to every aspect of our lives. And now, more than ever, the role of the PC is clear. It has become the essential tool for doing things that matter most, helping people focus, create, connect, and have fun. The demand is unprecedented. This year is shaping up to be the largest PC market ever with fundamental demand drivers that are here to stay. Intel is committed to working with you to meet this demand. Innovation unleashed. You heard it from Pat and Michelle and you see it in our actions and our execution. I'm excited to talk about how we will continue to unleash industry innovation starting with our products. We committed to deliver leadership innovation in the PC client, and we're doing just that. In 2021 alone, we've already announced four new families of processors from entry to premium. That's 27 new CPUs built specifically for business, six new CPUs for education, 12 high-performance mobile CPUs, and eight high-performance desktop CPUs for consumer. There's something new and exciting every quarter from Intel. And wow, it has been fun. Just three weeks ago, we launched our 11th gen H-series mobile processors, the world's best gaming laptop processor, offering desktop caliber gameplay from anywhere. Chuck's gonna show it to you in action. Chuck? Thanks, Steve. I'm really excited to show you all the new 11th gen H-series processors, which feature a new microarchitecture based on our 10 nanometer Superfin technology. Here, I have two similarly configured systems. On the left is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX processor, and on the right is the new Intel Core i9-11980HK processor. Both systems have 8 cores and 16 threads, 32 gigs of RAM, and feature NVIDIA's RTX 3080 graphics card. And they are both running the benchmark built into the game Crisis Remastered. With our new H-series processors, we can reach 5 GHz, helping to drive higher frame rates for smoother gaming experiences. This makes all the difference when you're playing to win. As the benchmark ends, you can see the resulting score. The benchmark runs through the scenario multiple times. The average frame rates for the Intel system was 117.62 frames per second, while the AMD clocks in with an average score of 95.86 frames per second. Even though both of these systems have identical graphics cards and the same number of cores, the frame rates on the new Intel H-Series processor were more than 20% higher. Back to you, Steve. You can literally see it. Intel's H-Series processors provide the ultimate scalable gaming experience that others simply can't compete with. And when Intel launches products, we launch with real scale. Our partners are delivering over 80 H-Series designs, Acer, Asus, Dell, Gigabyte, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Razer, all among category leaders, many hitting the market as we speak. And when you combine amazing products, breadth of designs, solid go-to-market execution, you get what only Intel and partners can do, and that's volume. The H-Series designs are off to a phenomenal start. We've shipped over a million units in the first three weeks. That's nearly three times more than a normal product ramp. And we're not stopping there. Today, I am proud to share that our 11th gen Intel Core U-Series family just got better. We're announcing the launch of two new 11th gen Intel Core SKUs. 
These will deliver performance and extend our leadership in the thin and light notebook category. With this launch, we're delivering up to five gigahertz in high volume thin and light designs. This is an industry first. We're also maintaining a 25% overall application performance advantage versus the competition. We're accelerating the number of designs with Intel Wi-Fi 6E, that's gig plus speeds, to enable the biggest thing to happen to Wi-Fi in 20 years. And finally, we're unleashing software optimizations to deliver up to 8x faster transcoding and up to 2x video editing speeds versus the competition. This is real world usage people care about. There's gonna be over 60 designs from OEMs based on these two SKUs available by holiday, with designs from Acer, Asus, Lenovo, and MSI landing on shelves this summer, some of them selling this week. That brings us to nearly 250 11th Gen U-Series designs. Now that is choice. Okay, you know we have the world's best CPUs, but let's talk about some other product technologies which advance the PC experience beyond the CPU, also areas where Intel innovation unleashes the industry potential. Connectivity is essential to deliver an anytime, anywhere computing experience. Intel powers the most advanced client connectivity solutions. Our leadership products like Thunderbolt 4 and Wi-Fi 6E exceed industry standards for the best wired and wireless experiences. Today, we're taking that leadership a step further. Michelle mentioned the Intel-wide investments in 5G. This is also relevant to the client. I am pleased to announce we are launching the Intel 5G Solution 5000, our first 5G product for the next generation of PC experiences. This is Intel's first 5G product coming out from our previously announced collaboration with MediaTek with global certification. Acer, Asus, and HP are expected to bring these 5G-enabled PCs to market this year and the momentum continues in 2022 with over 29 designs expected. Ubiquitous leadership connectivity options are unmatched with Intel. Leadership CPUs and connectivity technologies are just part of the story. Intel is the only company who works with the industry to bring the experience all together in a platform without compromise. A platform is the sum of the hardware capabilities and the ecosystem co-engineering efforts to bring the experience all together. But end user expectations have evolved and we needed to transform the experience to meet those needs. So two years ago, we stood on this Computex stage and announced a vision for a new laptop innovation program, Project Athena. Project Athena became the foundation for our platform work. And last September, we launched a new brand, Intel Evo to make it easy to identify that guaranteed experience. Intel Evo symbolizes a brand of laptops that are rooted in real world experiences and co-engineered with partners to simply be exceptional, no compromises. Each Intel Evo design is verified for mobile experience, including responsiveness, long battery life, instant wake, and leadership connectivity. The experience-led innovation includes features like video conferencing, collaboration, and sensing technologies. Imagine a PC that simply adapts and adjusts to your environment, like automatically blurring your screen or your background noises based on your location. That is where we're headed. Chuck, let's show Intel Evo, powered by the new 11th gen Intel Core U-series processors that I mentioned earlier. Over to you. You got it, Steve. Recently, Mike Coker went to the river and wanted to capture his first time paddleboarding. He used a total of six 4K cameras, two located on his board, two on shore, one on his chest, and one up above on a drone. To quickly create a highlight reel of his adventures, let's review all of our video clips simultaneously within Adobe Premiere. We can easily select the videos we want and the order to use them. On this Intel Evo laptop, powered by our new 11th Gen U series, we can review all of that 4K content smoothly. In fact, we can play back more than 99% of those frames. Meanwhile, the competition drops 99% of those same frames. Imagine trying to create a compelling video with what you see on the screen here. 
the performance lag of the competitive system makes it incredibly difficult to quickly review and edit content. The performance capabilities of the Intel Evo platform brings out the best in every content creator. Back to you, Steve. It's simply incredible. Together with our partners, we're proud to have more than 85 verified Intel Evo designs to date from all the top OEMs, and we're on our way to over 100 designs from other 15 OEMs by the end of this year. As people demand more from their PCs, Intel Evo will deliver leadership performance and experiences that matter the most. Intel's unique ability to deliver at this pace and scale of innovation is unlike anyone in the industry. While Intel has deployed over 5,000 engineers to test, tune, and provide optimization recommendations to deliver those premium compute experiences, unleashing this level of innovation does not happen alone. We have partnered with over 150 ecosystem partners to create a deeper level of premium mobile computing experiences with the Intel Evo brand. We've opened three labs around the world, one here in Taiwan. These open labs facilitate this rigorous testing and certification. The Taiwan ecosystem is a huge part of this progress. Today, we're also affirming our commitment publicly to invest over $50 million in Intel Evo ecosystem innovation just this year. We will assist in developing technologies that enhance the compute experience. We want your ideas, we want your engagement. Please join us. We intend to continue our series of advancements this year. Our upcoming product, codenamed Alder Lake, will deliver the next set of compute advancements that the industry is looking for. As we previewed at CES, our Alder Lake desktop processor is powered on and running smoothly. And I'm also excited to share that Alder Lake Mobile is also powered on and executing beautifully. We're sampling to customers and partners as we speak, and there's gonna be a lot more to share on the entire Alder Lake lineup later this year. Stay tuned. Today, you heard about our drumbeat of product innovation since CES. Gaming and our 11th Gen H Series leadership, we launched two new SKUs making 11th Gen U Series even better. We continued our connectivity leadership with the launch of the Intel 5G product and Alder Lake is just on the horizon. We also spoke about Intel Evo being the symbol of experience-led innovation driving the industry forward. We're executing on our products and platforms to unleash innovation. As stewards of the industry, we know we must supply and tackle the industry challenges together. You heard our commitment, but let me reaffirm it. Number one, we believe in the industry the power of compute and the inflection point on the market potential is here to stay. Number two, we will build our own capacity. Pat talked about our over $20 billion of investments in Intel factories over the last 60 days. Number three, we will help the industry solve its capacity challenges. We will use our own factories where we can, but we will stand behind suppliers to help them build capacity. In the last three years, Intel has invested over $4.5 billion in ecosystem capacity for non-CPU components, and we're committed to do more. And long-term, we have to simplify and standardize our solutions. With our partners in Taiwan and around the globe, we will unleash innovation, creating a new standard for personal computing. It's an exciting time to be in computing and an exciting time to be at Intel. The best days are ahead of us. Back to you, Michelle. Thanks, Steve. I talked earlier about how our digital world and physical world are becoming more and more intertwined. And one area where that connection is becoming more obvious is around the issue of sustainability. The way we produce, use, and dispose of our devices has a profound impact on our planet. So we're especially proud to be working with our friends at Acer on a very special initiative. Thank you, Michelle. We only have one Earth, and sustainability is one of the most important topics, especially for the IT industry, where we are in position to make a great impact. Intel and Acer has a long-term partnership and share a deep commitment together for sustainability. 
Together, we believe we can make a great impact. Green is in Acer DNA, and it's a key part of our future. We join the I100 initiative and share a target to achieve 100% renewable energy by year 2035. In 2020 alone, we ship more than 6 million fallet free products and over 8.8 million products utilizing recycled plastic. In addition, 100% of Acer laptops have adopted recycled paper for packaging. Acer's Earthian platform reflects our mission to tackle environmental challenges. The effort unites the strengths of our employees and supply chain partners to expand our circle of impact. We have worked together with Intel to create Acer Aspire Vero, a new laptop based on sustainable principles. Most parts you see on the product are made with PCR, post-consumer recycled plastic. It also features the latest 11th gen Intel core processors, which provides high performance computing power with great energy efficiency. Care has been put into details, such as packaging, which use recycled materials and can even be repurposed for other usage. We look forward to continuing our partnership with Intel to deliver more great products, innovation, and work toward a greener and better tomorrow. Thank you. What an awesome way to bring my presentation to a close. We started with an example of our partnership with ASUS that helped improve and even save lives during the pandemic. And we ended with an example from our partnership with Acer that has the potential to improve lives with a more sustainable approach to the way PCs are made. As I mentioned earlier, we can't achieve our ambitious goal of improving the life of every human on the planet without the help of our partners. And as Pat said, the Taiwan ecosystem plays a critical role in ensuring a resilient global supply chain to meet the unprecedented global demand for semiconductors. So I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all our partners worldwide, and especially those of you based in Taiwan. We've done amazing things together over the course of the last 35 years, and now under Pat's leadership, we're unleashing the Intel innovation machine with an unprecedented level of investment, focus, and customer obsession. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you in person very soon.